Will it back up? Yes, good. Oh, yeah, good girl. Back up is something that you use literally every day with a dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Magnolia State. My name's Brandon, and this is my English Lab Willow. Let's jump right into it this week because we've got a lot of ground to cover. But before we get into teaching the backup command, I noticed this week on one of our walks that Willow jumped out of a stay when I went out of view from her. So I decided to work on that a little bit to make sure I reinforce that stay means stay, even if I'm out of sight. Here you can see that I put her in a sit stay and I'm going to walk out of her sight around some tall weeds. I also decided to work on her e-collar recall. Uh, that's a recall without my voice and only using the vibration from her collar. Let's see her come running. Hey girl. Yes, good. Good girl. Okay, free. Let's head back over to the house to teach her how to back up. So I finally decided to uh, teach a new behavior. I've decided to teach her to back up. Now she has a, a an informal backup already, uh, just from like daily living, but it's not it's not right. So a lot of the times she'll be like too close to us on the couch or or something like that, and I'll tell her to back up. And she'll back up by like sitting down. Like that's just how she worked it out. But I never officially taught her to to back up like like that. And let me say this, I'm pretty selective with what I teach her. I don't teach her tricks just for tricks sake because what I learned is that whatever you teach, hey, 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 there's nothing under there. She knows something's happening. Whenever I, uh, you teach a dog something, or whenever I teach Willow something, uh, you have to do it over and over and over again. It has to be sort of like worked into your life. If you're like me and you, you own your own business or something and you've got to practice all these behaviors every day, which is what it takes, and you just teach them tricks, then you're basically just spending a ton of time each day practicing tricks, having to practice tricks, and I, I don't really want to do that. What I like to do is, is, is teach her a behavior that we use in the real world that will come up every day and back up is something that I've discovered is something that you use literally every day with a dog. So what I've got here are three platforms for her. They're going to be shaped in a U kind of shape like this. So they just need something that will uh, let them know they're, they're heading in the right direction basically. And eventually you take the two out and there's one and they learn to back up. Uh, in a straight line. So that's what we're gonna start doing. You ready? You can see that she's ready to work, but she doesn't know what we're doing yet, so she's giving me every behavior in the book. Back up. Yes. Good girl. Come. Back up. Yes. Good. The way that I've been studying as to how to do this is get real close to where you're not having to walk constantly to get to them. Start off real close, get the treat down, just push it into her nose and push her back to where her back feet touch whatever she's backing up to. Then progressively get farther and, and farther and farther. Back up. Oh, you know what? I'm actually associating a word with it first. So there's always mistakes made. I'm putting a word with it first. I probably shouldn't do that. So I'm going to cut the word out at the moment and just have her touch. Yes. See, she went sideways and, and, and touched that side of the U shape. I think that's fine for right now. Yes. Yes. And I'm actually using something uh, new for this. These are uh, freeze-dried beef liver. For all her training that I've ever done before this, except in the very, very beginning, uh, I've used her kibble, um, her food. Now, I've been looking for something that's even more high value, and um, you know, it seems to do the trick, but she's very food motivated anyway, so her food works as well. Yes. All right, this is where we speed it up. But remember, 
Repetition is the most important thing. You have to do it over and over again in a couple of five minute sessions a day. Yes. Good. Three. All done. So that's it. So usually when I'm teaching something to her in the first thing in the morning, I do five to 10 minutes. And then, I don't know, maybe lunch, five to 10 minutes. And then at night, you know, while, you know, before dinner or something like that, we might do five or 10 minutes or something like that. So two or three sessions of five to 10 minutes a day, uh, a lot of the times takes care of it. So doing that basically all the first week, and then you just start to understand the rhythm and how smart your dog is and if they're understanding it and if they're getting it and stuff like that. So uh, that was the first session. We're gonna take a break from training, fill up the truck with some gas and pet on a cute dog. Guys, I've said it before, if you want a dog that can go with you anywhere, train consistently and take your dog with you wherever you can. Let's head back over to the house for the next session. All right, you ready? All right, session number four. Uh, Willow, get back in. It's raining, so we're gonna do this setup in the garage here. I'm going to change up a little something about this. I'm gonna keep my hand closed whenever I am offering her the treat. So I'm gonna change up how I do it just a tad. Same position, all the platforms laid out the same way. I'm not too far away from her. I'm just gonna keep my hand closed. There's the treat, I'm gonna keep my hand closed. Basically the hand opens on the yes. So let's, uh, let's do this, you ready? Oh, and I have, I've added the word to it just cause she's a quick learn. Back up. Yes. Again, using freeze-dried beef liver, I just crack them in half, and uh, that's what I'm using. Here. Back up. Yes. Let's speed it up. Yeah, so she's moving backwards much easier with the hand closed position. Now it's just a matter of her connecting how she's supposed to be moving and what she's supposed to get to with the word. Back up. Yes. Back up. Yes. So I'm not having to push, I'm not having to push at all really. It's just with the, with the closed hand, it ends up being just an easier lure, but she's definitely moving uh, more fluidly back. Whereas in that first session or two, I was just almost forcing it. That was the wrong call. All right, I'll just say it without any, without any, without any lure. We'll see what she do does. Back up. See, she still, she starts to back up, but she goes into that down. That's, that's just a bad habit that we, we got in over the years. So we're breaking that and putting in something new. So it's gonna take a little while. Up, back up, yes. Will up, back up, yes. Back up, yes. Good girl, we'll end on a good one. There you go, jackpot, good job. We end on uh, two good ones and we'll just keep going with it. Back out on one of our walks this week, I decided to do a little work on her off leash left and right heel while walking. She struggles staying on the right side because I primarily use the right side for obstacle avoidance rather than prolonged walking. Here's a small example of that exercise with no cuts so you can see that struggle and understanding are a part of any training process. Let's go. Heel. Heel of right. 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 She left my right side before I told her to. Good. Let's go. Nope. And she's doing it again here. Yes, good. Nope. And one more time. Right. This is where I realized that the word good needs to represent good, to her right. that she needs to continue the behavior good, she's right. doing. That's why I'm saying good, good right, right, good, right. Good, right. Good, right. 
Kio. Let's start. Here. Good girl. Stay. Like I said before, if you implement something, you have to constantly practice it. Lesson number seven, she still hasn't just kind of caught on to the idea of touching something behind her. She backs up real easy now. Here we go. Little look up. Kiss. Back up. Let's move yes. through it. Guys, I leave these sections in so you can see that it's not one or two times that we practice something. It's a lot of repetition. All right, let's test her. I'll tell her once to back up, see what she does. My guess is she's gonna go into either a sit or a down, but we'll see. Come. Without me knowing it, this is where everything's gonna start coming together. Will it back up? Yes, good. Oh yeah, good girl. You did it. She did it. All right, so she did it. You saw it right there. She actually backed up more than one step until she touched the until she touched the the platform back there. So she's getting it. Here we go. Hello, come on. Good girl. Back up. Yes, good. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if she actually has it. Here we go. Come on. Back up. Ah, see, she went to a down. Back up. Yes, good. Seven so far. It's taken seven five to 10 minute lessons for her to start the process of connecting, backing up. It's not there, but it's starting to be there. Let's go take a break and have some fun. All right, you wanna get it? You ready? You ready? Oh yeah, you're ready. Willow, middle. All right, leave it. Release. Yeah, come on. Ow. Potty break. Always a potty break on the first throw. Yep, bye-bye. It's like clockwork. Back to training. All right, we're on session number nine. Eight made progress. She started backing up. She started realizing that she was getting it wrong. She would go into it down and uh, then come out of her down and start backing up. So it's starting to connect, but we're on session number nine. You ready? Let's go. Back up. Oh, did you see her? Did you see her start backing up right there all of a sudden? Back up. Yes, good. All right, now let's see if she'll do it on her own real quick. Here. Nope. Let's get you straightened up. Come on. Willow, back up. Back up. Yes, good. All right, look at that. That's exactly what I was looking for. Good, here. Willow, back up. Back up. Yes. All right. She's made the connection there. All right, here's where we're at. This is after a couple weeks of it. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Say bye. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like watching a good girl do good things. Remember, I'm not a professional trainer. I'm just a regular guy encouraging you to spend some time with your dog and have fun doing it. We'll see you on the next one. Back up. Yes, good girl.